Hi, Georgina from Twinkle here, and today I'm going to be talking about resource packs. We've got loads of them on our website, and I'm going to be showing you some of our maths ones. Let's go and take a look. We have resource packs like this one that cover a variety of activities testing a number of skills. For example, adding, subtracting, multiplication, more than and less than, and this can be used by parents at home or for teachers in school if they wanted to do a test prior to teaching a skill. We also have resource packs that have activities focusing on one skill, for example number bonds to ten. In this pack you'll find lots of different activities such as bingo, challenge cards, and they will all be reinforcing number bonds to ten knowledge. Activities in this Mini Beast resource pack test the recognition of 2D shapes. This lovely bumblebee activity provides children the opportunity to practice their shape recognition. They will need to cut up the bumblebee pieces and try and recreate the image they've seen. You could print the background off our website or to save on printing you could use tissue paper or coloured card. The children could talk through what shapes they see and how many sides they have. We even have resource packs that will provide you with a daily maths problem solving question. Inside each week's resource pack, you will find a set of the challenge cards for the week, which could be printed and stuck into the children's books. And you'll also find a PowerPoint with the daily challenge on. We also have resource packs that contain support prompts and posters for different skills. They could be stuck on the walls around the room or laminated and kept on the table next to the children when they're learning a skill. This number square is brilliant for any number work that you're doing with children. We even have resource packs for assessment and maths. In this assessment resource pack you will find a skill checklist taken from the curriculum which can also be found in the form of a spreadsheet. You will also find target bookmarks for your children on which they can write their targets going forward. I hope this has been helpful for teaching maths at home or at school. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.